Oh, hi there, Hank. It's Friday, October 24th, and this is the bathrobe they gave me at this hotel. I couldn't bring myself to actually put it on naked, because I don't know what the previous tenants did in it. Hank, I've got like four minutes to record today's video blog, so it's all gonna have to be in one take, which, as you know from having seen the footage that I don't put into Vlogbrothers videos, means that today's video is gonna suck. Sorry! But I just wanted to say a couple things. Number one, you are getting punished, but I'm going to punish you by making you do something that you already should have done. You once agreed to go to the Sex and the City movie dressed as Carrie Bradshaw, and now you've gotta do it, even though it's not in theaters, so you'll have to do it at your house, but whatever, seeing you dressed as Carrie Bradshaw will still be funny. Also, Hank, I want to say thanks to you and to all the nerd fighters who made it possible for Paper Towns to premiere at number five on the New York Times bestseller list next week. I mean, I was surprised last December when nerd fighters proved that they could take over YouTube, but I didn't think we could take over the New York Times bestseller list. So thanks to everyone who bought Paper Towns, and I hope you like it. Hold on, I gotta recreate the thing on the sidebar. Also, Hank, the New York Times bestseller list is not the only good thing that's happened to Paper Towns in the last 48 hours. In what is surely the best kept secret in the history of Nerdfighteria, Hank, I can now officially tell you and everyone that the movie rights to Paper Towns have been optioned by Mandate and Mr. Mudd, the people who made that great movie Juno. I mean, Hank, the last time these people made a movie, it won a bunch of Oscars. No pressure or anything. By the way, it was the producers at Mr. Mudd who I said best wishes to low those many months ago. But it didn't make them hate me. Now they want to make a movie. Best wishes for the win! Hank, before I go, I have to tell you what happened when my second novel, An Abundance of Catherines, was published. On the day it came out, the Yeti and I went to a bookstore and there were no copies. Then I went home and we had some soup. Then we watched CSI and went to bed. The fact that this experience has been so radically different that I got to hang out with 200 Made of Awesome nerd fighters last night while hundreds more were watching on blog TV, I think it's the nicest gift that I've ever been given. Hank, I'm not gonna get cheesy on you, I'm not gonna say the L word, but I hope you understand that all of this would have been impossible without you. So anyway, Hank, in solidarity with you and your punishment, and also to express my gratitude to the nerd fighters, I have a question for nerd fighteria. What can I do for you? You want me to eat a blenderized Happy Meal? You want me to send some money to Bangladesh? You tell me. I owe you guys big time, and I know I can't pay you back, but I'm gonna start trying. Let me know what I can do for you in comments. Hank, nerd fighters, thank you, thank you, thank you for being awesome, and as always, best wishes!